Now that you know how to write a letter, I'm going to show you this really cool feature called Mail Merge. Now Mail Merge is something that you can use and hopefully you will use. You're going to follow along with me first and then in the next video I'm going to show you how I want you to set up your own Mail Merge. So first we're going to start a new document from a template. I'm going to go to Sample Templates and you can choose whichever letter you'd like. Um, just make sure, um, well, now let's all, all select the same one if we can. Let's do, I don't know, this equity letter. Let's use that one. You want to make sure you, you're going to create a document, not a new template. So we're going to create that. I'm going to save this right off the bat into my documents and I'm going to say merge letter sample and obviously if you're at school you're not going to be able to save it in your documents you have to save it into your um, student folder so I'm going to save that make sure it says word document I'm going to go over to mailings I'm going to start a mail merge and I'm going to use the wizard go to start I'm going to select the recipients from that file. I'm going to go to Browse and find that file, which is in my documents. See here, sample address. Want it from sheet one. Yes, that's perfect. Now it's going to say write your letter. And here's where we have to kind of put stuff in here. The recipient name we're going to take out and we are going to put in address block. and you choose how you want it to look we want it with here and we want the postal address okay okay and get rid of this as well the salutation we want to fix greeting line you want it to be you can either put dear, to, none. We want it to say dear. Let's put a semicolon. Hit OK. So now you've changed this. Don't worry about this because we would just type that in here, um, our sender name, so we can type in our own address. Main Street, USA, Florida. This is not a real address, obviously. So then we can preview our letters. And here's where it's cool. So now I can see all of my recipients. You see where I'm clicking? And then what I can do is, let's say I didn't want it to send it to Sushi Roll. I can exclude this recipient. And now I should only be able to see one and three. Isn't that neat? Now I can complete my merge. And I can edit my individual letters if I'd like. And click OK. And now I have the letters here and they're editable and I can also save these letters um, or print them or do whatever it is I wanted to do. So that's how you complete a mail merge. It's really really cool and in the next video I'm going to show you how I want you to set up your mail merge.